good evening, Mr. Chester. You sure you don't know what this party's all about? No, darling, I honestly don't. How are you, boss? Good evening, Harry. Your evening. To end the mystery of this surprise party, I'm your host tonight. My name is Roger Kahn. A very dear friend of mine has written a song about the island. I heard it the other night and loved it. That is why I have arranged this premiere presentation. It is called The Polynesian Rhapsody. It is about a man's great love for Hawaii. Mr. Chet Chester. consciousness, an unceasing rhapsody of tide muted hollow, when raindrops perform silver ballet over white skirted sea. Your business ended when Chet broke up the syndicate four years ago. The partnership of you himself and Roger Kahn was over then. He paid you both off. Maybe I want to get paid off again. What does the or and the question mark stand for, Mr. Novak? That either he leaves so that I can start up the syndicate and everything that went with it again and run it all by myself with a free hand Or a hundred thousand dollars in cash, and I'll leave the islands. And if he refuses? Case history of Chet Chester. This could get your boy locked up for the rest of his natural life. And you would go right along with him. Yeah. But I've got nothing to lose. But Chet, he held on to his dough. He's got plenty to lose, everything. However, for a measly hundred thousand, this will disappear.
land of aloha, of song, of welcome. From Pali to Kanoe Bay, languorous, idyllic, where trade winds play. Where all races are one, with one another and God. Where joy is in the living, where paradise is now. Island of contentment, of tranquility, of full heart and happy laughter. You have given strength to me who had lost it, restored my faith where faith had waned, made strong my body, which was all but withered, made harmony in my soul, a man of me. I love you, I will never go. I love you, Hawaii. You are my life, my hope, my faith. With your bright and shimmering music-filled loveliness, you are my golden dreams at the rainbow's beginning. Why did you want to come here? You dirty rat. Please, darling, let's get out of here. No, you never get anywhere running away. You understand, don't you, Chet? I had to do it to protect you. As long as he was around, you'd never have been safe. Never. His heart was so full of hate for you. Yeah. And blackmail. Did you read this? No. No, I don't want to. I know everything about you I want to know. Except one thing I could never understand. I've never liked Novak. Why did you ever become partners with a man like him? It was 1940, before the war. I was a stupid kid. I pulled a bank job in Riverside, California, Novak and I. Cops were after us, and we had to split up. I had the money. Oh, it takes quieter down. I looked for him, but I couldn't find him. I joined the Navy, and before I knew it, I was shipped out. How did you happen to meet him again? After Pearl Harbor, I sent for him. Well, it was better for me to send for him than have him find me. You know how it was around here during the war. The town was full of people with money, easy money. Just asking for guys like us to take it away from him. So we took our dough and formed a syndicate. We needed someone in the islands with connections, so we found Roger. Novak and I supplied the money and the brains. Roger, the connections. And now that he's out of the way, you're the only one who knows about my past. I never told Roger.